Welcome back, my boys and girls. So today, finally, oh my God, we have an English translated version of Animal Forest on a cartridge reproduction that works. That works. What? So finally, we've got this from RetroCircuits.com. They have a very limited number of these. And here I'm showcasing what the cartridge looks like. It's using very high quality parts, flipping amazing. There's been other you know, repros of this that have been popping up recently and none of them work. The only people who have a cartridge that works as far as a repro goes is RetroCircuits.com. Here's the board that they use to make this. And as you see in the upper left-hand corner, the RTCK NUS Nintendo chip, that is Nintendo's actual real-time clock chip. That is what is missing from any of the repros. Not just that, there's other high quality components as well, but that is one of the major factors. And today, we're gonna go ahead and test this bad boy out. But first, let's compare this board and cart to the cheap Chinese crap that I recently received. So a while back, I did buy this cheap repro just so you guys wouldn't have to, and this was from AliExpress. And like I said in that video, it's pure garbage. I knew it wasn't gonna work, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up and make sure nobody was ordering it because a lot of people were talking about this. And you see, you know, it's just a cheap cartridge shell that they used. Uh, the labels aren't all that great. You, you know, some people don't care about that. But in all honesty, if you're going to pay the money, you might as well get some quality stuff. But the biggest problem is the, the crappy little boards that they use in these. As you see here, you know, there's no real-time clock. The battery looks damaged. Um, you know, I can't really explain what's going on with this board. This looks just like every other Chinese Nintendo 64 repro board I have seen. And for a game that uses a special chip, this is not going to do it. And, you know, you never know what you're going to get from these Chinese repros. You know, some people are fine with buying this stuff from China, but at the same time, you just never know what you're going to get. I've heard of a lot of people getting carts that just don't work. The saves don't work, even if it has a good battery in it. And, you know, what can you do bes beside complain? You, you know, you're out whatever money you spent. With a company in the U.S., like Retro Circuits, they back their work. They're manufacturing these and making, you know, doing all their work in the U.S., you know. And, hey, that makes me feel a little more comfortable when I'm looking for a repro cart to say, hey, I'm going to get it from a U.S. company who's actually putting these together themselves. If I have an issue, I can go to them, which I haven't had an issue. I've gotten a ton of carts from Retro Circuits and it has been awesome. So I'm super excited that this was finally released from Retro Circuits. It's, it's something I've been looking for and I know a lot of other people have been looking for as well. And to be let down by cheap Chinese repros, like I said, I only bought that other cart just to showcase it to you guys that, hey, you're not gonna get a good cart from China for a game that uses a special chip. You need to wait, and I even said in that video, wait for a company like Retro Circuits to announce something. That way, there's a company that's held accountable, who's in the States, who's local to you, and guarantees their work. These Chinese companies don't guarantee anything. I, you know, AliExpress, when I tried returning it, they said, no, it's, your claim doesn't, doesn't matter. You're saying that it's a, it doesn't work well it does work and it's not a forgery and not all this i'm like what like whatever i didn't really care but it was more so the money spent to to show you guys hey don't do it do your homework peep it out first but i'm i'm really glad that this came out and i can play this game and enjoy it a lot of people will say hey you can emulate this or you could play it on you know certain versions of the everdrive that has a real time clock but you know, this game is the only game on Nintendo 64 that had a real-time clock, and that's kind of crazy. So I don't know a lot of people who's gonna buy an EverDrive, you know, for general use, buy the more expensive one that has a real-time clock on it. And not everybody is like that. A lot of people just wanna have cartridges in their collection to play. They don't like to use flash carts. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm not knocking anybody. However you wanna enjoy your retro games is perfect. It doesn't matter as long as it works for you. There's nothing to dislike or to knock. So this is just another option to play this game. And I know there's going to be extreme interest in this. Because like I said, there are a lot of people who prefer to have cartridges. So today, we're going to go ahead and boot this up, peep it out. And I'm going to give you guys little, you know, little snippets of the game showing that these features actually do work. So let's go ahead and take a look. 
Okay guys, so here we go. I've got the game booted up. There's gonna be a few sequences where I just kind of fast forward through because you know the beginning of Animal Crossing on any system, any version. The game has a very slow start. But I started the game up, got my town going. If you remember in my other video on the, the Chinese repro, you you got an error the second you got to, to KK here. You instantly got a real-time clock error. And no matter if you set the clock, tried saving, like nothing worked. You couldn't save your game, the real-time clock didn't function, so it just it rendered the game useless. If the game didn't have, if the game had a real-time clock and actual the capabilities to save, then it, it would have been a viable solution for some who want to risk, you know, getting a Chinese repro. Um, but here, Everything has worked. I've played through this and as you see here, I'm setting the clock because it automatically had a, a time set. So I'm going ahead and setting it to the actual time that it was when I recorded this. And the reason I did that was just to kind of double check and, and peep it out when I got back into the game to see if the time stayed, you know, if it continued the time, if it actually maintained the clock. And to my surprise, well, not really surprised because, you know, where I got this from, I knew, you know, they're not going to be selling this game if it doesn't work. Uh, but it was amazing. I was like, heck yes. You know, the, the time kept, you know, continued rolling and, and everything. My saves worked. And I'm going to showcase that here. So obviously you're seeing this is all in English if you're not aware that, you know, this game was only in Japanese and there has been translations of it done. And that's what this is using, actual English translation. And I've played quite a bit of it beyond the recording of this video, and I haven't, I haven't ran into any glitches or anything weird. Everything functions. Everything that you need to do is, you know, readable. Everything that's, you know, in the game has been in English for me so far. All the conversations, all the little missions you got to do, all the item names everything's there so as you see I met Tom Nook and now I'm peeping out the little crib that I that I'm thinking about buying from him you know and it, it it's just it's cool you know just having this history of a game that we never received obviously we had the enhanced version on the GameCube but this is where it all began and it's really cool to see this and and be able to play it and, and see what we could have got back in the day it was kind of disappointing that this didn't come out, you know, but it was cool that we got it on the GameCube. I also have the game on the GameCube, but Animal Crossing is a big thing in my house for one reason or another. Uh, my wife and my daughter, they, they've played Animal Crossing through the years. My daughter especially, she's huge into Animal Crossing. Um, back when the GameCube version came out, me and my wife used to play it all the time, and you know, it was a lot of fun. We had the little cards and and, and all that stuff. Even now we have uh, all the Amiibo cards for for the 3DS games that came out. The Happy Home Designer and the uh, New Leaf or whatever it was called. But as you're seeing here, you know, the menus, everything works. Um, you know, when you emulate this on the Raspberry Pi, the game is very glitchy. You can't play it. You know, emulators are going to support, you know, real-time clock, but on the Pi it just doesn't look right. Everything's jacked up. And as you see here, um, I'm just destroying all the flowers that I planted for Tom Nook. You know, kind of, kind of out of rage. You know, he only paid me 80, 80 bells to plant these, and I kind of felt ripped off that I owe him, you know, nineteen thousand dollars for that house, and, and he wants to put me on all this work. So, had to destroy what I did for him. But yeah, this this game's a good time. Definitely, if you're interested, peep it out on RetroCircuits.com. Just go to their Nintendo 64 section. Uh, you know, they also have a lot of other things. Even if you're not interested in Animal Crossing, you're just peeping this out. Everything that I've gotten from them, I've mostly gotten Super Nintendo repros, I'm not going to lie. Um, and, and they've all been amazing. You know, they do a lot of special custom work for you. You know, especially with the, the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo, they'll do multi-carts and stuff like that. So, hey, hit them up, tell them Mad Little Pixel sent you, and, you know, see what they'll do. I've gotten a few awesome customs from them that I'm, I'm super happy to have. And as you see here, I am saving my game and, and doing all that stuff just to kind of cycle through the process and see if, you know, resetting after I save my game and then resetting, seeing if, you know, everything worked. And it, it, it sure did, but then I also did a, um, a reset without saving 
or not with yeah a reset without saving and then just jumping back into the game um, and you'll see that in a moment here but as you saw the game booted back up and that was actually for me powering the game down and powering it back up and here you go Mr. Rossetti's at it if you do reset the game or power off without saving you will have to go through like I think it was almost a like a four minute three to four minute conversation with this punk so definitely be careful so it, it's awesome to see that all the functions work the way they're supposed to and in a repro cart so that's super awesome I, I'm happy to have this wanted to share it with you guys in case this is something that interests you so like I said Appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you have not done so already. If you want to pick up this cart or just peep out any of the other cartridges that they sell, link will be in the description. So with that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Boom! Peace out. Thank you.